everyone uh, welcome to this java tutorial in this tutorial we will be writing our first java program properly so let's begin in our previous session we learned that how we can run our java code from the command line so let me open this java program which we wrote in our previous session so let me open this one and see what happened so this was a code and this code was just printing this java tutorial by testing funda and let's suppose if i forgot this terminator here or if i forget to place this braces here so this is not helping me and if this is not helping me so i will face a lot of problems for that reason what we need we need a proper integrated development environment which will help us that and tell us that you are forgetting to terminate this command you are you might be forgetting this braces here so this kind of a help will enable us to write a very good code so for that uh, let me open a browser here and in browser you need to type download portable eclipse and eclipse is basically an integrated development environment there are so many other available in the market like intellij netbeans so you can use any of them so uh, for this tutorial i would be using the eclipse and you don't need to go to this first url here you need to ensure that you would be going to this official url which is www.eclipse.org download so you need to click on this one and you need to go to download packages and click on this one and from here if you're using windows just click on this one if you're using mac or Linux you can choose accordingly and let me click on this one because I'm using Windows right now so it will start downloading so these are the packages now what is the benefit of using the packages because these are portable you will just download the file extract the file and that's it you don't need to install the Eclipse on your machine so this is the easiest way to kick start so let me click on download here and you will see that it will start downloading a zip file here right so let me cancel this one and let me go to my directory here under my softwares so you will get this kind of a zip file here and you need to extract and after extracting the file you will get this eclipse folder so click on this one click on this one and just click on this eclipse icon and that's it so it will start and you can start working on this one so i have using a theme here so you might not be having the same interface uh, but you need to go with the flow here and it will open the eclipse environment so after it will yes so this is our environment here this is a project explorer so we will be creating projects on this side it will give us the whole hierarchy of the projects here on the right side we will be seeing our code or we will be writing our code and here this is a section where we get some information consoles and these kind of information we will be getting here and uh, now what we need to do we need to go here and let me close these files here let me create a new project here file new java project and i'm naming this project as java lang and let me click on finish and after this this is our project and under this project we need to go to this source and this would be our source code here under this source we would be first creating a package okay just click on package now package is maybe related to your modules your features your uh, interlinked test cases it's uh, up to you how you can create a package package might be for the smoke test cases package might be for the regression test cases uh, packages package for maybe the login features package maybe for the you know sign up features so it's up to you so so i'm telling you context in both terms of uh, you know if you are developing an application or if you are testing applications so it's up to you so uh, let me give this name as java and let me click on finish so the package has been created now under this package we would be creating a class 
So don't worry if you don't know about what is class and all the things. We will cover these things in our upcoming sessions. So just go here, new and click on class. And now you can name the class. So we'll be writing this as our first and uh, you need to click on this option. Again, don't worry about what is this public static mean. Uh, we will discuss these things in our upcoming tutorials. Just click on finish here and here you will get this kind of a template. Just remove this file here and now our first program is always as a programmer is to you know print something. So let me write as system dot and now you can see that this intelligent ID is telling me or guiding me what is happening. So I'm using a system system dot out dot I want to do print print ln and I need to provide whatever I want to print. So if I go here and let me type this is a tutorial by testing funder. And here you can see that this ID is telling me there is some problem. This is an error here. This is a syntax. So syntax error insert this. So this is saying error here and it's guiding me where I was when I was working here with this document here in the simple notepad. It was not telling me here. It was not helping me out here. But here in this case, it's helping me. So this is a difference and you can see this is almost the same course just there's a difference of package here and let me provide the terminator here and save this first program and now you just click right click on this one run as java application and that's it and yes you have written your first java program and we will go move forward and go step by step in this tutorial and you will learn a lot of things in terms of java thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment and share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial